What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today I have Miss Spidey here with me. She is my Grandma Stella Rosea and we are talking all about her and she's actually coincidentally doing the thing that I am going to be talking about today. Um, she is in her glass dome, which is what I wanted to talk about because I think this is this really cute, interesting, peculiar, funny behavior that I've observed her do. Um, but before we get into that, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Um, this is a channel where I upload videos every single week about tarantulas for Tarantula Tuesday. Uh, this can include tarantula facts, observations about my own tarantulas, and just weird things about tarantula keeping. So if you're into that, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support and thank you for coming back and sharing this time with me. So. I've talked a lot about Spidey's weird behavior. She has a lot. And if you just take a look at her tank, you can tell. So <laughs> this is a ping pong ball right here. This is one of Spidey's, I think, favorite things. If tarantulas could have favorites, it's one of her favorite things in her tank. Um, she likes to move it around. She likes to, she's, let's see, she's planked on top of it before. She has rolled, she's rolled it around. She has put it in her water dish before. She just does strange things. And that's just one of the things. She has a darlid back here, which she just leaned up on top of her glass dome. Um, she likes, that's her water dish. She likes to fill that with dirt sometimes or lay in it. Um, this is her log, uh, which she used to go in a lot, but now she just kind of, digs around it or sits on top of it. So Spidey interacts with things in her tank a lot. Um, she does weird stuff all the time. Right now she's secretly working on a ditch in the back of her tank, which is really cute when she does that. And the ping pong ball is currently outside, but for several weeks, the ping pong ball was inside this glass dome that Spidey is in right now. Um, Spidey kicked the ping pong ball out yesterday, I believe so that she could um, give herself a bath because I guess she wanted some privacy or some more room for that. So that's why the ping pong ball is outside of the dome. Usually it's inside the dome with Spidey. And the story behind the glass dome um, is that this is not her first uh, dome-like structure in her tank. Spidey, for uh, quite a while, probably the first few years or so that I had her um, would actually be she would have this like little mini tank that I put like underneath the substrate so uh, it would be easy for her to access um, and she loved to be in that so Spidey has this habit of loving to be in more enclosed spaces um, she always has since I got her and the mini tank started because Spidey wasn't very good at eating. Um, she's an, an older tarantula. She was very slow when I would give her things like crickets. So we moved to worms um, and she would still be struggling to get the worms or like her spider instincts would just be so slow to kick in that these things would get away. So I would have this little feeding container that I would put the worms in and that would at least contain the food and then she would go in there or I'd put her in there and she would catch the food because the food couldn't get away. And it worked for us, it worked really, really well. Um, but what I found in doing that was that Spidey just liked to hang out in there anyway. Like she would always be in there. Um, and it, would, it was like her bedroom. If the, the big tank is her house, that would be her room and she would stay in there all the time. So the mini tank has since been taken out. I don't need it anymore. Um, Spidey has since switched to um, cockroaches, so the worms aren't really much of a problem. It's been a much better choice for her and for me. And, um, and I like to kind of switch out the things in her tank. So I had this really pretty um, glass terrarium that I was like, well, let's see. This is one of my experiments with Spidey is to just see what she does with it, um, as with many of the things in her tank. So she actually loves it. She's in there all the time. Um, it's another enclosed space, just like her mini tank. And um, I'd like to say that, you know, tarantulas don't, especially Spidey's species, um, they don't need a lot of space. But I give her this space because she does different things around. This is a 10 gallon tank. She actually uses all the space for different things. She just tends to use this the most. Um, and it's really interesting the things that I see her do with it because she will interact with other things in her tank Like she she might go to the bank of the tank Dig a hole. She might 
mess around with her water dish a little bit. She might do all these things throughout the day and then at night, always, she is in the glass dome. I don't know what it is and I don't know if it's like her instincts or something, like she notices perhaps that it's dark and it's night and so it's time for her to retreat into a more perhaps safer feeling space because she feels like she's out in the open. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's like, it's like clockwork. It's really, really um, cute. I think it's adorable. Uh, I would love for some research to be done on that, but I, I do think that maybe it's just that she feels safer. You know, maybe she senses that it's just more enclosed. Um, I mean, she's got a lot of room in there, but maybe she just senses that it's there. So yeah, this is what she'll be doing. She'll be doing it, you know, sometimes for days at a time. She'll be just sitting in there you know, perhaps moving around, turning around every day or so, but she'll usually just be in there. And then if she does venture out, it's only for a few hours. She always goes back to it, um, especially at night. Like she could be digging around in her tank all day. And then at night she's back in the dome. So she loves it. Um, but yeah, this is what she does for right now. So if you guys have any, um, of your own stories about what your tarantulas do with their tanks. Have you noticed um, that your tarantula has a certain spot in their tank or a certain thing that they really love? Um, it's To me, it's very interesting that Spidey treats this thing as a hide, despite the fact that it's glass and that it's not dark. Um, you know, maybe it is just that. I always thought that the allure of a hide was that it was a dark place. But, you know, maybe that's not just it. Maybe it's more important for a tarantula to feel cozy or enclosed. Because um, she's certainly getting a lot of light in there all the time. It's just that she's kind of enclosed and there's a little opening where she can go in. And then it's just her, her space, her safe spot. So, yeah, that's what I've observed so far about her. I think it's weird. I think it's adorable. I'm excited to see what she does after her tank change with all of her new stuff. I'm probably going to keep this or some sort of um, in, enclosed space for her because I think it's really important. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of that or if your spiders do something similar. I would love to know. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are interested in more tarantula videos and you're not a subscriber, please do some, consider subscribing. And if you're new to tarantula keeping and you want to lo learn more about tarantulas, I do have a tarantula guide that you can get on my website, tarantulaheaven.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you spending this time with me to learn about tarantulas or at least be curious about my tarantulas. And Spidey thanks you too. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.